off with Adam and David. Mm. Can you tell me what the most popular Halloween candy in Utah is? Oh. You mean Halloween co- <laughs> Do you mean Halloween costume? Because it's a witch. It's a yeah. witch. I was I was so ready <laughs> for the witch. We're locking in witch. <laughs> Uh, Adam, no, Adam, I'd, I'd like to be honest uh, with you for a moment. If it's if it's Utah, I feel like it's something fucking retarded, like a popcorn yeah, ball. Uh, <laughs> it has to be right. Like it's got to be. So, it's not a Snickers. It's, it's not a Snickers. Too. I'm you guys, it's it's like a Halloween candy. What the you know fuck what I mean? is this? It's Shut your like goddamn a... mouth! <laughs> oh, hey, she God. said it's a Halloween oh, candy. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Me that way. She goes, hey, it's like a Halloween. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wasn't talking to my girlfriend. I was talking to the host of this goddamn thing. <laughs> your girlfriend just called she said to eat a fucking dick <laughs> well you know what? with your mouth there's enough men here i probably could find one <laughs> <laughs> all right candy in utah. so if it's utah i'm thinking either you know you got your candy corn that's a halloween candy uh, you got your yet. you got your popcorn ball that's definitely a fucking i feel like that's definitely a halloween i don't see it many other time of the year yeah, and the only other thing I could think of is it's a Reese's pumpkin. That's about that's about it for my guesses. Those are the three things that it could uh, possibly be. But it's Utah; they probably don't eat peanut butter there. Weird. So, yeah. isn't it fascinating though that like the Reese's pumpkins one once a year thing that they have a mold in a factory for this one time out of the year? It's and you know strange. what? I buy it every year, every Halloween. Yep. It's delicious. I get yeah, some Reese's pumpkins. One. It's better than the it's eggs. The, the Reese's no, eggs. No, you are lying sack of shit. The eggs are the best. Yeah, I do yeah. like the eggs. They have the most peanut butter yeah. ratio, which makes them perfect. Yeah. Aaron, settle this. You know, I uh, knew someone who worked for Hershey, and she hooked it up with the fresh eggs. I forget. Oh, it was like, a couple, it was like eggs three or four for the months dough? before. Yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll just Man, go so jealous. Eggs for the... He's calling it out with the <laughs> eggs. I'm th- no, you can just... The- the now Christmas does this does, worst, this, right? does this she does this she you're Christmas speaking of shit. still work for Hershey? Can we get more fresh eggs? <laughs> yeah, David's like, yo, can you hook me up with them farm fresh chocolate eggs? <laughs> right, just a tip: you never go up to a woman and ask her for eggs. Can I have your eggs? Just FYI. Preferably your fresh eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they're taking away your rights. Can I have your eggs? <laughs> <laughs> chocolate. I wanted your chocolate eggs. What's wrong with you? Your eggs are safe with me. <laughs> <laughs> they can't abort chocolate eggs, can you? <laughs> and that's when I got Campbell canceled. Elliot, we don't <laughs> want Mr. Abbott coming for us. Yeah, oh, I can't take listening. him in a fight, you know? Oh, yeah, I mean, he, he's I already in I didn't believe luck. he was crippled. I had to Google. <laughs> yeah, for real, though, right? Isn't it surprising? <laughs> You're like, what an asshole. <laughs> like... Life already fucked you over. Why are you going to be a dick, too? Oh, it's insensitive. <laughs> no wonder he hates what? women. Can't get up to him. Got him. He can't get it up. Okay. Yeah. It being himself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think, Adam? Do you think it's a, a specific Halloween candy? The is chocolate it, bunny. <laughs> is, it, is it the pumpkin? Is it a candy corn? Popcorn I ball. Ooh. I don't think it's popcorn ball because that's not popular anywhere. Even but it Utah. would be in Ooh, fucking Utah. That's the place Utah, where they probably fucking Mormon. eat those things by like the yeah, fistful. Mormons don't even celebrate so. Halloween. Call Benji Adam. Rich Wine. See what we can get from him. Is it a, <laughs> Adam, we think you think is it a candy apple? Well, if it's got mm-hmm. razor blades in it, bro, come on. Even better, it's edgy like me. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't think it's <laughs> yeah, popcorn ball. Goes, just, I don't think. I, 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 Your I, determination I, against it almost feels like Utah's for it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that logic, though. Yeah, <laughs> While there is anything that uh, Macho Man hates, we love. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> bring it on. Guys, a pro in baseball. <laughs> for fuck's sake, give him respect. I don't know what else to guess besides like something Halloween specific, such as like the Reese's, because I can't think of any other Halloween candy like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think there's a Hershey pumpkin bar or any of that bullshit. So it's got to yeah. be something specific. If it's not, All right, I'm, go- I'm candy okay with corn. pumpkin. Pumpkin I'm Reese's? Okay pumpkin. Yeah, let's go with that. Bumpkin Reese's, lock it in. Pumpkin Reese's? Bumpkin Reese's, specifically. <laughs> bumpkin. <laughs> okay. Or any. Or all Reese's. 
All That's racist. racist. <laughs> hey, guys. All right. Hey, guys. Um, that we is incorrect. It. Yeah, I know it. So it's going to go to Aaron and Elliot. It's got to be something stupid, like a fucking Tootsie Roll, or like maybe it, could, it could be like, you know, uh, Mr. Goodbar, could be Baby Ruth, could be Milk a guess, uh, guess, came to my, guess, came to my guess Baby Ruth. Milk Duds. Milk, Milk Duds is a popular one, too. Like, I feel like <clears throat> they want something that's not too indulgent, probably different, you know? Milk Duds are very indulgent. I think we're talking about Utah or California. It could be Rice Krispie treats, you know, because they're so surrounded by corn. They're like, fuck yeah, Rice Krispie treats are fucked. Yeah, Rice. rice Yeah, I was going to say Rice Krispie from the rice from the corn, really. Yeah, (laughs) they're surrounded by corn. They need something different, some Rice Krispies. Um, (laughs) (laughs) You know. I think we go generic. What was was the question again? Like, what candy? Yeah, the question is, what's the most popular Halloween candy in Utah? Yo, it could be Twix, because they're all about, like, having multiple of, <laughs> you know, <laughs> things. I got Kit Kats, bro. Um, like, yeah. Uh, oh, what if it's something we aren't thinking? Like, what if we're dumb and it's Skittles? Milky Way? Yeah, oh, was Skittles the most popular last year all around? I mean, honestly, I'd fuck up a bag of Skittles. Anytime I see like those small bags, like if I'm at work and I pass by a cubicle and somebody's got like all the like you know multiple fucking candies in the and I see a, a thing of Skittles, I can fuck with that because like it's just there's something about it, it hits good. Yeah, and if that you pour it all good? in your mouth, it mixes together well. Better than like all when you pour flavors. a bunch of M and M's in your mouth. Sometimes it's just like ugh. You talk okay. like something that's uh. <laughs> yeah, you talk. You talk like other things. I might milk does just sound about. Maybe they're Whopper people, you know. Pull the trick. Pull the trigger on something. Yeah. I'm gonna, I gotta go Skittles. I gotta go Skittles. I gotta think that they are good people in Utah that like. Skittles. No, you're 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 wrong. You're wrong. <sighs> I or probably am. A rainbow candy in Utah. Get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! I didn't <laughs> think about it. State. Just let them know. Say, eh. All right. Yeah. I'll echo David. Eh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, right. Damn it. Fucking more. All right. We going back again. to um, David and Adam. You got another guess? Yeah. Quick hint. Yeah. Quick hint. Pop, pop popcorn ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and David is like fucking on these I will popcorn fucking, balls. I will literally freak out if it was a popcorn ball. I'd be like, yo, they need to die. They need to go. It's just- it's the same logic you just had. What's the worst thing you don't want? A fucking popcorn ball. When I got an Utz fucking popcorn ball in my fucking trick or treat bag, I wanted to go on a fucking shooting. Yeah, but you I just said it. I Uts, couldn't believe that's it. That's PA local, bro. You can't get that anywhere else. Yes, you can. That's like saying Utz doesn't deliver to like California. You think California got Utz chips? I don't they think don't. they do, no. Oh, how about Hershey's? Does a fucking Hershey's exist in the rest of the world? Yeah, because Hershey's, Hershey's has is global a distribution. Large brand. Yeah. You don't think uh, it's delivers around the U.S.? No. No. <laughs> like, to be fair, it's in Hanover. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> I bet you there's states and states and states that have Utz cat. Why Utz am I things. helping you? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Go, go fucking Utz popcorn ball. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Never said Utz. Never, never said Utz popcorn ball. It could be any popcorn ball. Stand my fucking specific spot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What do you think's worse? Well, Before you answer, what do you think's worse? A Whopper? Like the Whoppers or uh, those popcorn balls? Uh, that's a dick question. I hate Whoppers, too. The fucking milk. Yeah. At, like, what is Malt? the malted milk ball? Fucking Yeah. It's different. I mean, but I'm going to eat the Whopper over the popcorn ball because those things are fucking gross. Yeah. Like, what makes a popcorn ball? Is it just sugar and popcorn? I, I gotta be honest, I don't know what they use to congeal it. I think no, it yeah. is just sugar, but it's not caramel, because I no, love caramel I'm gonna, corn. I'm gonna look it up while you, while you solve no, your riddle. Cheating. No, I, he's I, cheating. I'll hold my phone up so we can see. Nah, <laughs> cheating. What do you, what do you think? Know. What do we think? Like, yeah. what do you think? So we got, we got, oh, oh, we, oh, hold, 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 hold up. We have candy Any corn? Hints? Any hints? I think she gave us the biggest hint. She said it's a Halloween candy. Like, it's, it's specific. Yeah, I, I guess I'll give you, I can elaborate a little bit. Like, when you think of Halloween, what is, like, the candy that you think of? Candy corn. Is it? Yeah, that was, yeah, candy corn. 
Candy's corn. <laughs> you said candy's corn. Candy's corn. corn. You know, candy's corn. Candy, her corn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that your final answer? Yes. Lock it in. All right. All right. Congrats. You got it. No. So it is. Shit. We could have. We could have really did that on the first guess. We yeah, we had really that. Did. You did have it down. But I will yeah. say your your popcorn balls or corn syrup, white sugar, and salt. That that's what fuses them together. That's just cheap caramel okay. right there. I have never had an Utz one, to be honest. I've had people give me like homemade ones, but you know, like you throw that shit away because you're not gonna eat that. Yeah, that's yeah, so gross. Man. Yeah, let's be honest. Anybody that makes homemade candies like are fucking assholes on Halloween because you're like, I don't trust you. Oh no, but, those are the people I, I want the most candy from them. Sometimes they got some ball of shit like pretzel rods dipped in chocolate. You can't just get yep. those anywhere. That's different though. That's not like a fucking popcorn ball. But the people that give out the juice boxes are the real heroes. Oh my god, there was a yeah, guy in this one <laughs> Dude, there there was this guy in this one trailer park who would give out the little like mini bags of Doritos and fucking sodas and shit. And he would always get the fucking like generic like Dr. Lightning or whatever the fuck the shit was called. He's a real one. Was, yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome because trailer parks, everybody gave out candy. I didn't live in one, but I sure as fuck frequented it every Bro, I fucking grew up October. In one. I'll tell you what. There's always that one asshole who gives out whole chocolate bars, and you're like, that guy isn't getting toilet papered. <laughs> I, I respect this man too much. That's right. You change masks with your friends. You go back and ring again and get a second bar. All right. Cool. You guys ready? Tee hee him. Where is it? All right. What <laughs> state consumes the most candy? Me. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, it's got to be like <laughs> Texas. It's got to either be Texas. Or it's got to be What's the fattest California. state? I want to say like Florida almost. Oh but yeah, I like Texas or California too. Hmm. Or I want to say New York even. Oh, New York does have a lot of people. We got 10 Thanks. seconds. Okay. Uh, do you want to go Texas? I'm you're, going you're, Texas because I'm here and there's a bunch of guy. fat people here. Yeah. Texas. Fatty state. Okay. Locked in. Yep. Yep. Sorry, not it. Fuck Adam. them. David, okay. what's your guess? Um, most candy. What's the fattest gotta... state? Wisconsin. Yeah, we just said the same oh, shit. Oh, the same. <laughs> it's yeah, that's, it has that's good. It's got to be a. It's got to be a state that has like the most fucked up teeth. So it's got to be a Kentucky oh, or an yeah. Alabama. Mm. Good logic. Love it. Yeah. All right. Four. We get three, three. seconds. Call it out. Which uh, one? Pick it. it. Doesn't matter. Alabama. Hey, sorry, that's not it. Going back to Ellie no, and Aaron. No hints. No hints. We have nope, like forty-eight no states one. to go. <laughs> 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 okay, we said Texas and Alabama. I, Florida was a good guess. So is Cal. California is a good idea. New York. What has like a large population? California is fucking huge. So it's possible they consume a lot of candy. Yeah, but exactly. they're also health conscious there. Yeah, we're going, exactly. We're going we, New York. I'm fine with New York. Let's lock her in. Yes. Hey, sorry, <clears throat> New York's not it. Fuck them, G York. Wait, oh shit, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kanye. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. The heat is on. Um, I like Wisconsin, but that was a good one. I don't know. Ten seconds. We're just going to Wisconsin. That's it. I don't yeah, know. Sure. Okay. Lock it in. All right. Sorry. Wisconsin's not it. Now, um, I guess I can give a hint. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this just is give us give the answer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, just run just give us the answer. I was going to say Ohio. But... No, Ooh. it's it's Florida. My hint was going to oh! be Fred Durst. Oh. What the fuck me? just happened to the screen? Aaron got so oh, mad. Sorry. It fucking went. <laughs> no, I don't know what's up with this camera, but it's no, fine. It nah, he's so... pissed off. He's pissed off. Don't listen. It was so he's good. so mad at you. It was so because good because like your hand went up and then it did that, and I was like, "Yo, I feel yeah, I feel 100 percent the same way." We we had Florida in the tank, Aaron. We had it in the tank. That's uh, fair. Our logic. Okay, so now we're Scared starting me. with <laughs> we're starting with um, David and Adam, right? Uh, Start with me. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You guys are ready. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. 
What is the largest Halloween retailer in the U.S.? Spirit I mean, Halloween. yeah, it's got to be Spirit Halloween. You can lock that intake to the bank. Yep. Okay. Take it to the bank. Good job. What the fuck? That was like a joke answer, like a joke, yeah. like question right there. What's the biggest realtor in uh, for Halloween stuff that pops up in every abandoned store ever? I mean, listen, it easily, uh, it easily could have been Walmart. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I was thinking Walmart or Target. Could have been, I said easily could have been a regular retailer. Could have been Amazon. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Andrew, you just talk shit on me. Okay, I guess I can continue with the next question coolly. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, next question here is for Elliot and Aaron. Where is the largest Halloween parade in the world? In the fucking world. Good I want to say like Good. Louisiana because that's where they love Halloween or they just love parades. Ooh, yeah. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that answer. I'm fine with taking a shot in the dark and say Louisiana. Sure. It is not correct. Okay. So it's I was wrong. gonna say there, there's, no, <laughs> there's no way that the most religious state has the biggest Halloween parade. That's true. I was like, yeah. no you fucking can't way. You dressed as a nun there, remember? That was Alabama, no. I think. Oh, Halloween shit. parade. I don't know why. I feel. Uh, wh- fuck, man. Do you think it's? I'm, do you think it's out of the U.S.? I think so. I think oh. it's somewhere silly like Transylvania or some shit. Wait, is this worldwide? Do you say in the world? Yeah, she said. Yeah, she said in the world. Oh, it I'm is in the world. Oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> Mexico City. Yeah, I think it was. I feel like that's a Day of the Dead. I don't know. Lock in your answer, motherfuckers. It's been thirty that's seconds. It. <laughs> Well, you talked over 15 more seconds, dickhead. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, suck with your mouth. Yeah, whatever, whatever you think. You think it's Mexico City? Let's talk it in. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, Mexico City. Sorry, that is not it. Right. Here's a hint. I said world, but it is in the U.S. So it's Mexico what? City. Yeah. New Mexico City. Is it the U.S.? No. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say Brazil. The Florida comment was pretty good because there's a lot of a lot of, uh, uh, I think, Spanish people very much like the Day of the Dead slash, I don't know why Day of the Dead's in my head now, because somebody said it. Yeah, it's definitely not Halloween, though. It's got to be Florida, right? Like, Florida candy, Florida would be parades, too. You want to do Florida? Oh, and it would be nice there. Yeah. Florida. Like nice wise. nice Halloween. Nice lot, Halloween. Lot, yeah, they're very nice there on Halloween. Everybody's pleasant. Temperate Halloween. Florida? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's let her ride. All right, Florida. Sorry, not it. Are you looking for the state or the city? Okay. I mean, anything. No, Florida. Adam, state. I have, Sorry. We got state. Yeah, city I, or city probably city close enough. I, I'm, I'm throwing out Salem, Massachusetts. Oh. Yeah, lock it in. Lock it in. All right, Salem, final answer. Yeah. Final answer. All right, sorry, that's not it either. Are you guys ready Whatever. for the what? answer? Yeah. yeah, let's just okay. hear Let's hear how fucking dumb we are. All right, it's the Village Parade in New York City. Oh, oh, I was 50,000 participants. I thought about it. I was like, Macy's Day Parade. They probably got a fat yeah. parade in New York. I was between there and Harrisburg. I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Why <Harrisburg? laughs> Oh. It's, it's it's scary there. Yeah. <laughs> Every day. Ooh, parade. yeah. It's a haunted that. All right. <laughs> All right. Who's starting out this one? Uh, oh, me and David. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. All right. You guys I mean, we just could be. I don't know. Right? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, we just gave the last answer, so it should be us. Okay. We would have gone second. I'll go with that logic, obviously. All right. This is a large place that does not celebrate Halloween. Think about, like, the world think about like a big vatican city know, country <laughs> that doesn't celebrate <laughs> i'm not gonna that I mean that's a good I, answer yeah but i don't think Holy it's the right answer shit, but it's that was really funny i don't think it's wrong though but um i don't think they celebrate but it might not be the largest i bet you it is i mean what's, what's i'm talking big place? i'm talking like land like in population land mass? everything big russia Time. My answer. Final answer, Russia. I'll lock in. I'll I'll lock in whatever Adam says because I have no idea. Russia. 
All right. Yeah. Good job, Adam. That's Holy great. shit. Uh, yeah. Good job. The biggest landmass. You like, fucking that's Kremlin. <laughs> she gave you the generous. Land yeah. mass. Population. They're both Aaron, up there. Aaron, this year isn't fucking. There's a big ex, like asterisk next to this fucking victory. This is some horse shit. <laughs> wow. I really enjoy how I think much you guys James were ahead the, in the first category. Honestly, I don't know. I'm I think literally. You were. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you contained? Are you ready for this next one? I'm zipped up. We're good. I'm airborne. <laughs> okay, Elliot and Aaron, can you tell me what the most popular Halloween costume of 2021 was? Which? It's like for everybody. Think about like. Which? Worldwide or? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's worldwide. I think maybe <clears throat> just like the U.S. So Donald J. Trump is definitely. Um... Did Frozen 2 come out? That's right. Children celebrate Halloween. Um, or, I mean, which is always a solid guess, but I also don't know. That's five seconds. Which? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm, we can go. We can go. Which? That's fine. Which? Which? Okay, solid answer. Not correct though. Uh, we're gonna go to Adam and David. <laughs> What's scary right now? Maybe something from Stranger Things? That was last year, wasn't it? What was yeah. the year? I don't know. What was the question? Uh, <laughs> last year. Yeah. It's the most popular Halloween costume of 2021. It was like everyone it's together, Halloween. like kids, adults, maybe stri- teens. Maybe, maybe like a vampire, maybe, Adam? I don't know. Is it a vampire? Maybe. Do you think it's a vampire? Uh, yeah, vampire. Okay. Vampire, good guess. Still not it. Back to um, Ellie and Aaron. We get a hint, or is it? Yeah, is it like a? Is it like a copywritten character, or is it? A generic? It's the most uh, popular. I'll, I'll wait for the hint and then I'll start the time. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate. No, it. it's not a copywritten character. It's just kind of um. <laughs> it's question. general. Okay, um, kind of general. No, that's good. kid. Think about kids, I guess. It's like oh well. Hint. All right, easy enough. And kids, Minecraft Steve. No, um. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, pirates kind of come into my mind. Ugh, I don't have kids, so this makes it even tougher. Um, oh, Paw Patrol, no. Uh, oh, Paw Patrol is actually pretty solid. Kids like that. <laughs> no, it's not. Let's just let's do pirate. Let's do pirate. Let's go pirate. What do we have to lose except? <laughs> All right, good job. Pirate um, is also not correct. <laughs> no, you said good job. I thought like, we did a good job. Good job. <laughs> good job. Good job. Yeah, good job All right, David, we got to think here. <laughs> Kids. Well, yeah, it's so, it's, so it's not it's not a pirate, you know. It's not a cow doy. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no way, right? There's no way. Cow doys dead. I'm throwing generic. Uh, <laughs> Maybe back do you think, do you think do kids want to be nurses? COVID nurse? Yeah, no. no sex, sexy, nurse. sexy, sexy, oh, nurse slash doctor. sexy nurse, please. Nurse slash doctor. That's our answer. Obama. Nurse? What's Obama? Slash doctor. Who is Obama? <laughs> Sorry, not it. You guys ready for no. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dinosaur. What? That's fucking stupid. Dinosaur? How do you go as a dinosaur? Uh, They're extinct. That's stupid. That's stupid. Yeah, we could do T Rex. They have like T Rex yeah. costumes. They have that suit that like. Oh yeah, that blue. Um, people wonder thing. why kids are dumb, all right? Those things didn't even exist. That's fucking <laughs> fake. No, it's kidding. Here's flat. All was, right, this one. Uh, we're starting out with Adam and David on this one, right? I feel like everyone starts with them. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> you just had that one. <laughs> hey, um, I'm, I'm literally, literally just, just kidding. kidding. You, can, just you kidding. can write out your list in an email and send it to me, and I can address all of your concerns. That's fair. That's totally fair. You're a rainbow man again. Rainbow it's fine. Man. It's fine. You're embarrassing your partner. Aaron literally quit because I'm oh, yeah. so ashamed of how bad I'm <laughs> I'm right. hiding my face in shame. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, so can you tell me what black and orange represent for Halloween? Uh, I don't know. Uh, fucking pumpkins. If and you just give me one know. color. Pumpkins. Adam, I have no, I have no fucking <laughs> idea, dude. <laughs> I think those are the only orange things that are probably like orange and black. Autumn or fall. Good answer. Better than mine. 
Oh yeah, the leaves. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the darkness, like the black, is for daylight savings time? Oh. Uh, yep, that's our answer. <laughs> okay, Not yeah, it. that's actually. I will give you one point for that. Black does stand for the darkness oh, yeah. of winter that's coming. It's also Shit. death. Oh FYI. yeah, suck it, darkness, but, evil yeah. darkness. Darkness is spreading, y'all. Now, if um, Elliot and Aaron can tell me no. what the orange is, because David you can't thing with that. You right, can't. I mean, orange moon. I was going to say it's got to deal with. That's a good answer. Or the leaves. I like the I like the harvest moon. I like the idea of it dealing with. Yeah. You know, I don't know why I, it's not. It's not like I was going somewhere, but really, I was just going to repeat it. It could be pumpkins. It could be death and decay, but I like the or idea orange. of the harvest moon. You like it? Okay, I like it too. I like it. Harvest Moon final. Sorry, it's not it. This one is kind of specific. Do you want me to just give it to you? Yeah, might yeah, as well. Yeah. This is very. We yeah, will never. We're never gonna this. get that. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's it is supposed to symbolize bonfires. Oh. Oh, I would have never guessed that in a yeah, million seriously. years. I like Bond, but it's a shame they. I didn't really realize how specific it was until this moment. So. Apologies I just thought that. it was the second color on a tiger. I didn't know. <laughs> second color. I thought it was so Tony. So you're saying tigers are, yeah. are Ooh, black? Yeah. With they're, orange. They're, bla yeah. they're black They're black and orange, clearly. Yeah. yeah. I guess I've never seen it. I see it as blue and gold, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pink and white. It's in his tiger suit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so we're to Elliot and Aaron on this one, right? Yes, I'm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is a true and false. More candy is sold okay. on Halloween than on Valentine's Day. Ooh, that's gotta I'm be say true. true. I've never bought you candy um... for Valentine's Day, but I've definitely bought candy for us on Halloween. But yeah, and Halloween candy sucks. Yeah. Like the, even the boxes of chocolate kind of suck. Yeah, but you still buy them every year. Uh, uh, Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Fuck Valentine's Day. It's or, goddamn wait, Hallmark. So true? Is it? Yo, wait, more? yeah. Yeah, so, it's a true false. So yep. if I'm saying more candy sold on Halloween than Valentine's. True. I agree. All right. Good job. That is correct. For one, once, good job actually meant we got something right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just cut me some slack because our dog is in the next room, so I'm in I'm like sorry, I'm dog sorry. mode. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bring some some heat. I'm an unmarried dog mom. Fuck yeah. Rep. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> That's awkward as <laughs> fuck, right? <laughs> All right, next question. Um Adam and David give first dibs. Are you ready? Yep. Yep, I'm ready. What was the original purpose or the tradition around dressing in a costume on Halloween? Something with spirits, I think. Yeah. I thought it, I'm pretty sure it was to scare the spirits away from, like, you know, stealing your soul and shit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. That's our answer. That's Lock our answer. In. Lock it in. You know, I will take that. It's to keep ghosts away. I yeah. Think you guys, that's, well, that's a spurt. That's a spurt. It's, it's crazy because the ghosts still show up in my neighbor's yard and burn across like like at least once a month. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just Elliot, I'm just Pasadena kidding. is on the other side of Houston. <laughs> it's true. I'll have to suggest that they I... dress up next year. <laughs> <laughs> you got to try dressing up. <laughs> They're always dressed as ghosts every year. <laughs> All right. Um, Aaron and Elliot, are you ready? Always and forever. Okay. Oh, yeah. How is the mystery flavor of Dum Dums made? Do, do, In a machine. Do, do. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, candy fact. The Dum Dum <laughs> got you, dummy. No. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I don't not know. Okay. Um, take the leftover candy. That's what I was thinking. Make... Like, if you take all the scrap from making yeah. Dum Dum Pops, the residue of the leftovers, and make it into one flavor. That's the mystery flavors. And they that's, just don't they don't color it. Yeah, that's where we're going. Is that your final answer? It's the scraps. It's like the... What were those cookies called? That sheets that they used to make? Trash can Trash cookies. Trash can cookies. Dude, I haven't had one of those in so long. Well, they, they don't exist anymore. Yeah. Oh, so 
R.I.P. the trash can cookie. Survey says. Okay, yeah, you guys are right. That is wow. <laughs> I am sad about trash can cookies, though. You guys haven't had them? Oh, Adam, they're gone. Them them every year. I had a case of the uh, sheets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what was the last food you guys good. had of sheets? Was it good? <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Oh, miss me a sheet. It's just better than most fast food, right? It's fast yeah. food is like cold. And cheaper, yeah. too, right? Yeah. Uh, you're, close. you're still paying it's pretty 10. close. Oh, fuck. Yo, Sheets Burger yeah. is fucking delicious. So I will say, like, they actually make a decent burger. It hits hard. Their fries, though, will always be king. But their this fries is, are it's... amazing because they're fresh. This is getting it's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. Next question. Okay, yep. I'm sorry. It's getting rid goddamn ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> We're start with um, Adam sheet. and David right now. I love Can Sheets. Can you tell though. me? Where the quote boil, bubble, toil, and trouble comes from. Uh, I thought it came from fucking. Repeat that uh, again, please. Boil, bubble, toil, and trouble. Okay. Didn't. I'm Adam, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Shakespeare wrote it for Macbeth. I believe that's correct. That's our answer. Lock it in. Okay. Yeah, hell yeah, you guys are on the Gang. Show. Fuck Gang. yeah, dude, that was really good. I was sitting here, like, Job. waiting. Shakespeare quotes? Shakespeare quotes? Mom Yo, gang? give me Homer gang? and his Iliad, and we'll fuck around. Hey, well, that is the end of Halloween holiday trivia. Let's go, So everybody. we're on to our third round. Uh -oh, third and final round. round. Will this be fucking zeros? I'm gonna be honest. This is about to be as long as that fucking philosophy of a knife. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, like 145. We fucking. All right. So we're actually so. starting out with Elliot and Aaron on this one. Fuck and yeah! About have... time. <laughs> Shut up. I have pretty good faith that you'll get this. So are you ready? Yeah. 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 Okay. What Every bro? answer is just Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. What pro wrestler tainted his legacy by murdering both his wife and his son? Oh. Chris Benoit. Oh, fuck that's you. bullshit. Bullshit. No. Um, I didn't know. Right, I, did. um, I didn't know I get that one. I'm gonna make up a bonus on the fly. Can you tell me what he was? He confirmed or suspected to have CTE? Yeah. Good job. Oh, that's a bullshit bonus. Yeah, He's you're, you're right. Actually, I, I'm going to cross it What out. the fuck? No, I'll take yep. the points. This is bullshit. No. I knew the disease no, it was a he suffered from. It wasn't a real question. He put Bibles on his kids after he fucking strangled them in their beds. Come on. Ew, yep. he did? Yeah. Oh, he had, well, he had, didn't he only have one kid? No, he had, he, uh, there were two children in the house. He had, three he, he had kids. a son. What? He had three kids. Yeah. One His one son's still was alive. not living with him. Yeah. No. Yeah, you sure? Okay, still alive. Be led, be yeah, real yeah. Quick. okay um, Adam and David, are you ready for question number two? Yeah, it's Chris yes. Benoit. <laughs> Chris Benoit. Can you name the first female serial killer? Um, yeah, maybe. I think it's uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of her fucking her first name, Nancy and uh, it's not. That's got to be right. No, it's the bitch who fucking ugh, fuck. I don't know if that's right or not. It's there was a bitch who fucking like would like steal her peasant girls or whatever, and she would drain their blood and then like bathe in their blood. She's supposed to be like the first vampire bitch or whatever they referred to her as. It was like I don't know what her name is. It was like Madame Bouvier or some shit like that. I'm trying to that's Mary right. Bouvier or something close that's to that. Right. Is that am I am I fifty fifty here? Am I close to it? Is it right? Give me give me a little feedback. Okay, um, that is not correct. You're wrong, then. I think I do you're... know what you're talking yeah, about. I know you're then talking you're about, wrong. David. That's you're not wrong. like the Bloody yeah. Mary uh, oh, thing really? started. No, he's talking... I think he's specifically <clears throat> talking about the American Horror one. You remember that Kathy Bates played? Like, she drained her slave's blood oh, or something shit. and, like, put it on her face? Is that who so you're I, talking about? That's not the same person, but that was inspired by her. Because this bitch lived in Europe somewhere. And she would legit, she, she was rich as shit, and she had a bunch of slave girls, and she believed the key to staying young was to drain their fucking Sorry, blood, yeah, and she would love it. she would bathe in bathtubs full of their blood, But and this was like sometime in like the 17 or 1800s. Homegirl got AIDS that way. Anywho. <laughs> I'm like... Fuck. Some All right. Yeah. No, no uh, sorry. That wasn't it, but okay. it will go to Elliot and Aaron. So, female serial killer. I'm not I'm... Madame 
Fury. That, that, sounds, yeah. that sounds pretty good. I was thinking, who is the bitch's name from Sweeney Todd, you, but that's not real. I'm sorry, did you say Madam Curie is a good answer? Who? No, it, I, don't well, who I don't know. You said Madam, and that's what I thought of. No, I, <laughs> no he's no, like, that's me cool. being fucking hammered and just thinking, like, okay. Well, no, was, it, was there, the, like, a nurse? Was there, like, a nurse? From New York that, like, killed all the babies? I can't you guys are thinking name. of Typhoid Mary. No, that's yeah, okay. sorry, that's not it. Sorry, as a host, I should not say that. That's bullshit. Apologies. She answered for us. Jesus <laughs> Christ! I I think we both teams deserve a point for this. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to do anything. Or no points because it makes I'm no gonna, difference. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna openly admit I have no idea, and I don't think anybody don't, else does. Yeah. I think we had our right, guess guesses. Have guesses. Yeah, let's hear it. Throw it out. What's, What's her name? It? What's this cunt's her name? name is Her name is Lavinia Fisher. But uh, never heard of that before in You're right. my life. Old Lavinia. She is actually from Charleston, South Carolina. Mm. Her conviction was for highway robbery. Mm. Oh, you know what? I feel, I feel fucking stupid. There's a song about her from the guy who made the Repo Genetic Opera, the guy who played Grave Digger, and or Grave Robber, and uh, Grave Digger's a truck. Yeah, oh. he's a great truck. And. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> And this song, I'm pretty sure the song's literally called Old Lavinia. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So when you said that, I was like, oh, yeah, I know that fucking song. Yep. Um, her alleged crimes. She, I guess, lived at this, like, six-mile house. It was, like, a tavern in um, Charleston. And she would, like, invite lone travelers. And then she would send them poison tea bitch and stuff like that what so. a bitch move yeah that's kind of the shit that she's up to all right let's next up all Sorry, right just, just a heads up the song was called pretty lavinia oh my bad oh okay who's up for this one is this um aaron and elliot e yep it sure. is yeah because sure. we, all we right, were the last enough. ones you asked yep I'm not okay. sure, so yes. <laughs> this is a two-parter, so I'll ask you the first part first. What is the mm. state that has the most murders? Just pure number of murders. It's got to be California, right? Or New York? Or Illinois. 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 Nevada, Illinois. even? Because of the mafia back in the day? Well, I think New York, place. potentially, because like, think how many people like live in New York and die in New York. All right, New York. Let's go New York. New York, final answer. New York, New York. Sorry, that is not correct. David and Adam, do you have a guess? Yes. Adam? Yep. What do you think about Michigan? Detroit, Michigan? I think Detroit was like the murder capital of the world for like a long time. Just to clarify, I'm talking about just the state right now. Just overall yeah. state. That's, what, that's why I'm thinking the state, because like Detroit, I know Detroit was kind of fucking crazy, so... That's a that's a lot of city. That's a lot of Home black of people being killing each other. You know, that's my guess. That's what I'm I thinking. Would say that you... or Illinois, either one. Illinois is good. That's on my mind too. Like those two are the ones that I was flipping between. Go with your instinct. Illinois. That is not correct. We're going Aaron Detroit. Elliot, <laughs> yeah. I guess. <laughs> We're gonna try. Uh... Michigan was a good one. I forgot. Yeah. I forgot how crazy that was. I mean, there's always Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Those <laughs> fucking Floridians. Are, I don't it know, all that... comes back to Florida. <clears throat> Truly, though. I mean. Over Illinois. Or Illinois. So... Well, Oregon. Oregon's had, like, serial killers in it. Oregon. But I think Michigan's a good. I think Michigan's a good. Uh... All right, Michigan. I'll let Aaron take the choice. I'm so far. Well, yeah, no, Michigan's well. fine. What did, what did they just guess, though? They guessed Illinois. Just Illinois. So oh, okay. they're between. Yeah, so I'm Michigan. saying Michigan. Michigan. It rhymes with okay. Mexican. I don't, I don't think it does. Sorry, guys. That's not it as well. Wow. Oh, shit. You want me to just give it to you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. New, it's New Jersey. <laughs> He's like, it's, it's Texas. Oh, yeah, baby. We number one. <laughs> like, like... <laughs> All right. Well, here's the second part to the question. I can start with Adam and David again. Can you give me the city with the highest murder rate? Uh, what do you think about? It's like murder rate, like per population, you know, so it might not be like necessarily like the biggest city, but. 
Oh. I got an idea. Hmm. I don't know what we got. El Paso? Sure, I'll go with that. I don't know. That's a a scary place. El Paso. That's a good guess. That is not correct, though. Fuck. Aaron Elliott. I'm between Waco and Corpus Christi. Why do you think Waco? The fuck's wrong with you, bitch? There was a murder there. There's a lot of people killing the fire. A murder. A murder makes it <laughs> like a the murder. murder. <laughs> like, fucking, yeah, it's like, I don't know. Uh, Maybe he's relevant because I, like, I live here and I assume there's a lot of murder no, here. No, it doesn't. I'm talking about just city as far as rates. The city is not necessarily in the See state her with the next murders. <laughs> I think you are misinterpreting. I'm trying to be clear. San Antonio because that kid was just shot there. <laughs> San Antonio, by the way, so. I don't even know. I don't even know. Right. the cities. I live here. All Corpus right. Christi. Um, sorry, it's not San Antonio or, or Corpus Christi. El Paso. Adam, David, do you have? <laughs> do you have a guess? That was our. That was our last guess. I, know, fucking, I was just being a dick. Fucking fucking Dallas. I don't know. Uh, sure. Why not? I don't care. That da- Dallas blows your mind. <laughs> All right. Yep. Um, well, I'm sorry. You guys did not get it. I'm just going to give it to you. Yep. It is give St. It. Louis. Ooh. I'm sorry. What? St. Louis. Oh, it didn't have to be in Texas? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you guys. Yeah. Like, We per- didn't understand that. Per- We're dummies. Yeah. We're fine. No, it's, it's fine. fine. Yeah. It's fine. We're dumb. Y'all, we y'all didn't understand the question. We failed yep. the prompt. <laughs> they spread out the murders in Texas. And we're like... <laughs> All right. Um, I think we're back to Ellie and Aaron, correct? Yep. Yep. Okay. What is the most common method of murder? Boom, boom, boom. Your mom. Boom, boom, boom. That's rude. I mean, would That's it be correct. gunshot? I want to say, like... <clears throat> Don't say gunshot. I don't know. I feel like I hear a lot of, on the TV about shootings, and not about stabbings. If you ask Governor Greg Abbott, it's abortion. <laughs> like, <I'm> just... <laughs> what if it was? <laughs> Are we gonna watch a full fledged like fuck him campaign? Because I'm dumb. Uh, honestly, I would, I would say between shootings and poisonings. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, poisoning oh. just seems a little random. Uh, poisoning. <laughs> Let's go, let's go shooting, man. Shooting, shooting sounds player. more logical. All right, shooting, final answer. Sure. Okay. Good job. Yeah, guns account for Ooh, um, 45%. Shoot. That was close. Guns. Good job. Homicide, sorry. No, I wasn't going to let you do poisoning. He kind of pulled the out at the last minute, so I'm glad uh, that you stepped in. I read so many shit. books on poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one is going to start out with Adam and David. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. This is a super well-known actor. His father was a hitman, sometimes allegedly dumping bodies into Galveston Bay. That's not even... Woody Harrelson, right? I believe so, yes. It's, Lock it, it in. Is, it is Woody. Final answer? That's, that's not even yeah. fucking... That is not cool. Yep. Okay. Yeah, good job. That is not cool. Listen, you guys got to pick Johnny Depp in your Nightmare on Elm Street. You got to yeah, take that back. I know, I know. I'm saying it's not cool that that question was asked in general. That's a very <laughs> Why? That's common knowledge between people. I don't know. Oh my God. I'm being okay, idiot. okay. This, this should be a pretty good one. This okay. is uh, going to be for Elliot and Aaron. Nick this Grandma. was pretty much the biggest true crime uh, story of 2021. And here we Her go, Jeffrey was... Dahmer again. <laughs> Her body was found Netflix. in a national park in Wyoming in August of 2021. You know She's this. actually traveling the country like with her boyfriend. I know the, the guy who did it. His name's Long... Brand... Brian Brandon. Long... <laughs> but I, don't yeah. I don't know the girl's name. I don't fucking Yeah, know. damn. Well, is it the boys or the girls? Oh, I know it. I yeah, mean, either either, either one. Well, I'll Brandon Laundry or whatever the fuck, however you say his name, it was the dude who did it. But I don't know the girl's name because again, I think I do know the girl's name. It's a victim. I don't fucking need to know the victim's name. It's not oh what's said God. on the news. Shut up! You it definitely, asshole. it definitely was a lot. <laughs> Aaron, do you have any idea? Or are you going to stick with Elliot's answer? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sticking with Elliot. 
Wow, you're going with the man? So brave. Brian Laundry. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is like a. Big... Wait, how? Wait, they get. I thought you said. Wait, do you ask for the murder or the dead get a person? point for the? You said either or. Yeah, either one was. Fine. They get a point for the but... for the lady. I was gonna say, can yeah, we bonus for the bitch? The what? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't try. I can't try to say her name. What the fuck? We just no. skipping us for the bonus? No, that's fine. Oh yeah, okay. Brandon, <laughs> Brian. Uh, I already heard him. I already no. heard him say it. I heard him say her yeah. name. I, I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to. I don't want it. You can have it. Okay. Out. You can have Gabby's <laughs> point. Oh. You didn't even know it, anyways. I didn't, but <laughs> I wanted to embarrass right, myself. Adam, <laughs> Adam, David, what are you saying? Adam, oh, it's name. it's. No, yeah. it's, sorry, it's, it's Gabby Petto or whatever. Gabby Zapata. <laughs> yeah. Petito. <laughs> Fucking Elliot just ripping off of her hey, damn Ga- name. Gabby Burrito. Zapato. 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 Yeah. All right. This is a Hulu dramatization of this crime. It includes oh. Jessica Biel. She stars in it. Justin Timberlake, he's in it. He doesn't star in it. But um, it's about this lady. She killed this other lady. Her name was Betty Gore in Wiley, Texas. She or she striked her with an axe 41 times. And ended up killing her. This was after she had an affair with her husband. So can you tell Wait. me what the name of the series was? Oh, the name of the series? Shit. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh. I f- Wait, you didn't say the name of the of the, the killer chick, right? No, no. That's what I'm looking for. Is it? Oh, is that? Oh. So I can't remember. Is that that fucking bitch? Is that? Oh, I feel like that was that chick. Because I think she wore, I think she like drove all the way there and had to like. Drive like a multiple hours and wore a diaper, or some shit. Was that oh. her, was her name like was her name like Eileen or Aileen something? Yeah, that's what we're going with. Is that what it is? is it Aileen or Eileen or something? Answer. Sounds right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Sorry, no. that is not yeah. it. Elliot, you know the song, Aaron, come on, Aileen. Aileen. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's definitely but, fucking the shit um, from community. Like, come on, I'm Dean, and <laughs> my hands are so clean. <laughs> At Honestly, moment, I don't. Know, I do not. I, I will never moving. know this. Yeah, I don't know it either. And but it's. It, I, know. It is, I know the story David's talking about. I remember hearing about that, but I don't think they made a Hulu show about it. Pamela they Voorhees. <laughs> like, just fucking That's who it was. Final answer. <laughs> Pamela fucking Voorhees. All right, good guess. Not quite though. Adam, David, do you have another guess? That was literally. That's literally my only. That, that thought. was our guess. That's the only thing I could think of. Gabby Esposito. All right. (laughs) I'm just going to give it to... Go ahead. Give it to us. Give it to us hard. It's called Candy. It's about Candy Montgomery. That was her name. Nope. That one doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, we were very close, though. You guys should... uh, Well, if you're into true crime, you should watch it. It's a good series on Hulu. Did she have any corn? Was this Candy's corn? (laughs) (laughs) No, but it was really weird because I think it happened in, like... 1979 or 1981 or some shit like that and this is in wiley texas so it's a little outside of dallas and she mentions like going to target so i don't know if that's where like target all started or not but that where she bought the axe no that's not where she bought the axe she actually so the fucked up thing was she was like a she was like an upstanding woman in her community she was a housewife but she would go to church and she's really active in church and all that good stuff and she was really this is according to like what the dramatization plays but she was like you know really active in her community had a lot of friends was like a really nice outgoing person and then she ended up having an affair with uh like one of know those people in her circle their husband and it was really weird she kind of just like cornered him in his own car and she literally said hey i kind of want to have an affair with you and he Mm. was kind of like what the fuck at first and then well cue that they started having their affair and whatnot and then they actually cut it off and then like around the time that they ended up cutting it off um that guy in that 
lady had like a second baby and after they had the second baby uh the woman who had the baby she had some like anxiety issues and her husband actually traveled a lot for work so kind of just added to her anxiety issues but um yeah they like they ended up cutting it off and then she was like worried one day because her husband was away on like a business trip and then that lady the murderer who had an affair with him she ended up like coming to the house and trying to like pick up her daughter's swimsuit or something it's really fucked up because their daughters were really good friends because they were about the same age so they did a lot of stuff together they did like swim practice and like school and all that good stuff but yeah she like dropped by to like pick up a swimsuit or some shit like that and then that's like when it happened she just grabbed an axe from like that lady's own garage and hacked her to death she should have used the i'm on my period defense that was a win (laughs) yep yeah, I'm that's always passion. Plus Sorry, period. I, have to, I have to go home. I have cramps. Has to un, unfit to stand trial, right? Yeah, I have. I was on my period, bro. Come on. <laughs> well, you must have had your period because you took your whole spacesuit off. I had to take a period break. I pissed. So <laughs> pissed a whole bottle of wine. I feel better now. The okay. menopause thing. He's getting the hot flashes. Well, I apologize. I definitely just spoiled the whole plot of Candy, so... Yeah, fucking uh, spoiler alert. The show that's been out, the crime that was committed in the 80s. Christ. It's been out for, like, a, a year or so now, I bet. But, yeah, Fair it's definitely enough. good, so worth watching. All right. So We're getting toward the we, finals of this fucking game. Yeah, we got four questions left. This one, I believe, we're starting out with Ellie and Aaron. Sure. Rightfully so. Let's come back. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, where'd you get All that right. pen? Don't ask. It's Don't drugs. Tell. Yeah. Clearly. Look at that. Look at those. Clearly drugs. Oh, shit. Are you actually the kid from the faculty? <laughs> oh, my God. I love that movie when they're snorting out of the pen. Josh Hartnett. Yeah. Such Goofs. a good movie. Such a good horror. Anyway. Okay. Elaine and Aaron, this is for you. Name the Netflix series where Anna Delvey, also known as Anna Sororkin, tricks new york city socialites into thinking she is a german heiress uh isn't that that faking what was her name anna something anna you know what i'm talking about emily in paris no what is it taking anna? Taking anna? <laughs> taking anna what is it oh. taking anna something I love it. I think you're. I think you're right. Is it taking Anna? I'm just. Yeah, I sound so stupid just saying that over and over again. Taking Anna. Taking Anna. All right. I'm sorry. I gave you like the names. You so, your vote? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna accept it. Uh, Adam, David, do you know the name of the series? What? Uh, <laughs> Did I not get it? No, like, was I not? <laughs> Are you saying oh, I was that wrong? was not correct? Okay. Yeah, I'm saying you were wrong. Okay. Sorry. I'm. Um, I w- I did wa- I did watch this because I was very curious, and if I remember, because I this was a fucking binge. You know me; I'm a disgusting person. I watch a whole <laughs> show in a day. Yeah, you I'm do. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was called like becoming it. No, inventing Anna. I think <laughs> or something. Reinventing Anna. I think, I think it's that's reinventing I think. Anna. That's our guess. Is it just, or is it just in? in I don't know. I we can go either way. Reinventing Anna. Hey, we gotta take this to the judges. <laughs> All right, are we? Well, what are you? What's your final yeah, answer? Well, who is Peter? Sure, how about how, how about the how about the reinventing? And then if it's close, just give it to us anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh my That's god! Crazy. Okay, sure. It was inventing Anna. You put two. Oh, extra well, you fucking on there. got it. How about that? Fuck, bro! I knew Dang her name it, was Anna. That's a point that's gonna put us over. Yeah, seriously, this is some horse hockey. All right, this one uh, we're starting with Elliot and Aaron. You guys no, ready? we aren't. No, 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 no. We just we just started first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this sorry, is sorry. David and Adam. <laughs> For once, I know. <laughs> like... All right, David, Adam, are you ready for this question? Yep. This is a Netflix series. It's about this woman. Her name was Lori Vallow. She allegedly killed two of her kids. I forget the ages. I think one was like 17 and one was like eight, something like that. But um, she, this was after she married her like 
fifth husband. His name was Chad Daybell. He was like a cult, a Mormon cult leader. So can you tell me the name of that show? Nope. Is it fucking... <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't know. I feel like it's something fucking kind of familiar. Um, it's like really popular it, like right now. Is it escaping polygamy? Yep, that's her answer. Is Final that, answer. Yeah, that's, I think yep. that's my best guess. Nope, you're, you're kind of close, I guess, but that's not nope. it. All right. Be honest, close. Aaron I Elliott, I did you got to guess? listen to the question. I'm looking for the name of the series. Marriage. <laughs> yeah it was she got married this was her fifth marriage she married this like cult leader within the mormon community and she then allegedly murdered her guess like escaping polygamy no, <laughs> that's my best guess I know, just, actually i honestly thought that you were right when you said that um that's my that was my first guess my second guess was going to be el camino <laughs> you joking <laughs> Are you goofing? What's El Camino? It's the fucking Breaking Bad prequel or well sequel movie. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't good. Fucking dumb. Aaron Paul should have just died. In Breaking Bad. Just saying. In real life, Jesse Pinkman sucks. Um. No, I. I I think it's escaping the church, but I I thought polygamy was better. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Like that. If if you guys don't know, I can just give you the answer. I'd like to throw it out there. there. Hey, it's called Sins of Our Mother. Oh, Bro. clearly I was a hundred percent right. Well, polygamy <laughs> involves your mother, mother correctly. <laughs> gang, got him. <clears throat> gang, gang. <laughs> All right. Um, I think this one now is starting out with Ellie and Aaron. This is yep. us, baby Sounds team. Good. All right. In 2000, this 18-year-old was murdered in Newville, Pennsylvania, by a co-worker. I'm going to kill myself. I really Can wish you would listen to Can you when me you her name? talked about this the other day. Yep, that's my problem, too. She fucking sent me the podcast, and I was like, oh, shit, I didn't get time yet. <laughs> did not listen, did not care, did not know it was going to be on this podcast. It's coming because it's <laughs> Newville. Like, what the fuck happens in Newville, right? True crime. True crime happens. The truest of crimes. Blue crime. Casey Newcomb. <laughs> I just realized that's not a name I should have said. <laughs> In hindsight, looking at my family, maybe you should have said that. <laughs> yeah, you you should just at one forty uh, at, at, at two hours twelve minutes. Let's just cut that. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, let me just like repeat the question and give you like a landmark. In 2000, this 18 year old was murdered in Newville, Pennsylvania by a co worker. Are you giving us that time? Again, yeah. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not going to get this. I'm one. not going to guess this person. This is a fucking 18 year old that's dead. This is like really local true crime. Yeah. How local? You know what I'm saying? It's like 30 miles from where we lived. I don't give a fuck. I barely yeah, knew people I in our town. I can't <laughs> yeah, remember who we graduated with. I don't even think it was like 15 miles, but yeah, yeah. You, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we've literally hiked. I've hiked with like every one of you in Newville. Donna Summers, Hot Stuff, 1979. That's the answer. All right. Sorry. That's not it. It's going to go to Adam and David. Do you know the answer? Adam, do I go? Oh, no, I'm not going to do <laughs> it. Do I do it? I don't know. Do I go dark? Do I, do I, do I say something silly? No, because he's uh, already no, got no, no. it. <laughs> this last question won't even <laughs> exist in the trivia. They're just like, and the winner is. <laughs> Name is. I think there's one more Tif question. Tiffany, something. Ooh. There's one more question after this. If you guys Tiffany don't know it, we have no idea. Yeah, I don't know it. All right. I have no idea. All right, her just name was Leslie this. White. It's pretty fucked up. Uh, David, uh, I'm not just... being mean to you. You should listen to the podcast, though. The guys who I do know. the podcast. I'm like meh with the podcast. They get off a lot on tangents and shit, but like so the, we. the <laughs> bare bones of it is pretty good. It's like nice because they deep dive, but then the problem is they deep dive and then like tangent. But you can like 
put it on. It's like two or three hours. We could put it on, like do some shit and like. Very similar to this one, you know. You know, very similar yep. to this one. Brought yeah. to you by Tide. All right. Well, this is actually the last question. So we're starting out with Adam and David on this one. Yep. Eric. Name the Mormon leader who actually made America's most wanted list. He ended up oh. marrying and facilitating the marriages of dozens of underage women. Dude, I'm so mad because I, I literally have this dude's name in my head. Like Tom Green is always going to be in my head, but it's not that oh. guy. Also, a Netflix <laughs> series about no, this not... guy too. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Tom Green. That was that one's a little bit smaller than this one, but this one's big. Fuck, this is gonna make me so mad. Because he was like legit hidden in his fucking they had like a fortress built for that motherfucker to keep him safe. Corey Cooper. Oh, I'm gonna be so as soon as I hear the name I'll be pissed. I'm tr- I'm like digging in the depths of my brain to try to think of it. Do we have to start the Probably. question over? No. no. No, like I know who you're looking okay. for. I'm trying to think of this motherfucker's name. We're just gonna spit a name our time's up. I don't want to. It's fuck a greasy it. name. Like when you say it, you have to like shudder. Salvador. <laughs> Josh Smith. <laughs> oh my god. Got him. Yeah, I don't. I I, right. I can't think of his name. Tom Green is oh. the only one on my mind right now. That's our answer. But that's not right. Okay, that's fine. That is not correct. It goes to Ellie and Aaron. Do you guys know? This will have to be you. I do not have a clue. The names that pop in my head have no significance. I don't even know. Aaron, do you know true crime at all? I don't either. Uh, this is not my forte. He's doing his best. <laughs> yeah, He's I know Johnny right, right. <laughs> I'm Like Benito uh, Mussolini. Yeah. No, fuck, that's World War II. Why am I in here? Um, John, what, what was the dude? John Smith. Yeah. That's not right, but... John Smith. <laughs> John right. Smith? I fucking can't. Okay. Right. Oh, name well, right there. <laughs> I know I'm getting that, to it. It. That's also not correct. His name was Warren Jeffs. Mm. <sighs> Jeffs. Oh, we all remember Warren Jeffs. <laughs> Warren Peace, yeah. Oh, Alec Baldwin. It was like a. <laughs> I forget cry. when it was a thing. Maybe like 2018 or something. He was literally on America's Most Wanted list. They were doing a manhunt like all over the country and stuff. It was pretty wild. It's crazy. I remember Back he's a day we used to hunt men. You know? <laughs> well, I have a bonus fact for you guys. This is just something that I'm going to tell you <laughs> oh. rather than you guess. Fair so enough. something that I was like wondering while I was writing these questions was I was wondering who had the largest butter sculpture because the Texas State Fair is going on right now. And I was reading stuff about, like, butter sculptures there. And then I was remembering, oh, you know, the PA Farm Show. We pride ourselves on the butter sculpture, all that good stuff. Well, I was wondering who actually had more butter. I think it's Texas, but I'm not sure. But um, the Texas State Fair in Dallas, they actually have, like, a butter sculpture competition. So I guess it's kind of like an ice carving competition they have like you know multiple submissions and stuff so that was just an interesting fact that i wanted to share in the texas state fair they do like a butter sculpture competition versus the farm show in pennsylvania they just do you know one huge bougie like this is 500 pounds of butter carved to look like a farmer or something i'm gonna pay our editor to put up the more you know yeah to that you know (laughs) Whoever that editor is, I'm paying them to do that afterwards. Right, can we find out? Who yes. Is so the 2022 here? Halloween oh, yeah. special champion team. Yes. Okay. So the champion team is. Insert drum roll. David and Adam. This Gang. is fucking malarkey. Game. Boy. Good game. It was 14 versus 11. Oh, yeah. We got oh, no, you guys were really close. I think it really is, wasn't. You know, Two points. We, we came in. We tried our best. I may have been too drunk in the beginning. I mellowed out in the middle. I feel good about it. Either way, I feel good about my effort. You know, 
the holidays you good, hard to you figure did good, out. Good. Yeah, this Christmas, the cream rises to the top. I know. I can't. <laughs> The Macho Man will always. Adam, prevail. why the fuck? Why the fuck don't you have a creamer? Where is your little creamer? Did you ever see? Uh, all right, David. After this, I'm sending you the fucking video of the cream rises to the top, so you can see how great yeah. the Macho Man is when he's doing slight no, I with creamers. No, I know that. That's what I'm saying. Where is his creamer? He's literally coked out, like grinding his teeth. Top. The cream rises to the top, and he just <laughs> pulls that shit out of nowhere. One of the greatest moments ever. Of the flex. What does that mean when the cream rises to the top? Who knows? Macho Man was all coked up, just making fucking, you know, saying shit as one do on well, cocaine. Well, no, the the cream rising to the top is supposed to be like the best of the best. So it's whenever you milk a cow, whenever is you milk it. Is he talking about the cream of the crop? Yeah, it well, rises to the well, top. That's, <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's what happens when you milk the cow. You get the milk and the cream, and then the cream floats to the top. So that's the best part of the milk. So. The cream of the crop, or you know, whatever you want to say, that's the the cream on the milk. That's your good shit. The thick that's shit, macho the nice man, shit. Randy Savage. Oh yeah. Well, I will say, guys, congratulations to your victory, Aaron. Thank you for being on the episode. I hope it was worth your time. <laughs> the two oh, yeah. hour, no, two I'm, hour I'm special I'm fun. Glad to be here. We thank always you. love seeing you, Chelsea. Thank you for hosting and writing the questions. I think I think this year for. Uh, uh, do we do a Christmas special? We'll find out, you know, whether we get around to it. Maybe I'll host it. Maybe I'll make trivia for everybody else here. And we'll have new teams and see what happens. But thank you for listening. Thank you for being on the podcast. Everybody did an awesome job. Hope everybody enjoys their evenings. Good afternoon, good evening, good night. The show has ended. The show has ended. It's just...